But anyway, man, we got action. Queen Latifah goes in on DJ Academics. She takes a Twitter read that said, I'm talking about read this, but says this. I'm about to read it. And I'm gonna give you a little bit of backstory on it for those who don't know what's going on. Queen Latifah says, it's crazy to me how DJ Academics is crying scared to say anything to Saucy Santana because he's a gay man and he's scared of getting canceled. But has said some of the most outlandish, disrespectful, and demeaning things to black women with absolutely no fear whatsoever. Brings me back to Malcolm X's quote. The most disrespected, unprotected, and neglected person in America is the black woman. <laughs> wow. Let's dissect this, y'all. There's a lot going on here. And I'm going to take my time and follow along if you want to follow along. I don't care if this video only get about five, 10 views, 10, whoever catch on to it, catch on to it. There's a lot of layers to this. And when I say layers to this, first let's talk about academics. For those who don't know, I ain't even got the whole full backstory, but I do know he had a situation. No, it all started off with, was the city girls first. He said some things about the city girls, trashing their music, calling it trash, all types of things. This rapper, Saucy Santana, who's happened to be a gay rapper, a publicly gay rapper at that, came to their defense. Now, this is just me being up to speak. Y'all can correct me if there's anything that I'm saying that I'm wrong about as far as how a lot of this stuff is transpiring for Queen Latifah to still say her message and put this in this. So what happened was Saucy, Tense, Saucy Santana said some, I'm talking about complete vulgar things to academics. I mean, it's so explicit, I don't even want to say on my channel, but he said he had beat him up and basically take his manhood. That's basically what he said. So Academics goes on his page. Matter of fact, I gotta do a video about that one too. He gets real emotional, tears up a little bit, speak on his roots, where he from and how being gay, cause you know he's Jamaican, part Jamaican or what have you and how his culture is so much against that, but he know on his platform that there's certain things he can't say or rebuttal because of cancel culture, which most of us do know about cancel culture and how it definitely come to the rescue of the LGBTQ community quicker than others. So now we had that little part. Not even, not, I don't want to say little on it. I don't want to be little with it, but we had that part of it. Let's move on to what Queen Latifah is saying. But again, on academics page, he want to respond. He want to say some things. Because y'all know how academics be off that henny and he be talking and he get a little bit emotional and he just fly off at the hip. At women, which he do do that. Sometimes he do just go off women and be like, y'all bees, y'all bees, that y'all boom, 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 boom. He do go hard on the women at times. <laughs> he do. So as Queen Latifah said this and put herself in the equation, let me just read this again. She says, it's scary to me how DJ Academics is crying scared to say anything to Saucy Santana because he's a gay man and he's scared of getting canceled, but has said the most outlandish, disrespected and demeaning things to black women. Ah, man, it's a whole nother fight right here. 
I'm trying to dissect this in a way to where it's to where how I might title this video. I really don't even show how I'm titled this video first. Because what I really want to get at is the dynamic of how Queen Latifah put herself inside this situation, being the big megastar that she is, which is most, I think it's pretty fair to say, well, I'm going to still throw a ledge on it, that Queen Latifah is gay also. But she's still a woman. And she's talking to academics about how he don't want to say the things to this man and calling out his, you could say, obscurities or being scared or fear of being canceled just to go against Saucy Santana. The point I'm really getting at is the way Queen Latifah is putting this She's basically saying, like, why are you scared now? But on the other hand, what I'm trying to throw into the equation is what if academics did go against this gay man and said some things and belittled him or rebuttal? Would Queen Latifah still say something? Would she still would have came to the rescue like this? Now, I'm just throwing this out here because my whole identity and when I speak on videos and things like this, I just want I just want to make somebody think of the whole situation. I'm talking about each piece. That's what I'm doing here. I want to trigger somebody's thoughts to just think like, okay, well, I see what's happening. By Queen Latifah jumping in this conversation, it makes it bigger off top. It does, no matter what. And like I say, alleged being into women per se. It always been the rumors, it's always been the smoking, smoking mirrors there, so to say. But that's here no one there. But if DJ Academics would have went at this man and made gay slurs and all these types of things, which he showed that he's trying not to do. But being that Queen Latifah is a black woman herself that can come in the equation and say that you talk about black men all the time anyway, that you talk about black women all the time, why are you scared now? The thing is, if you're always doing wrong already, why, why are you forcing this hand to do more wrong? And the way she just ended this whole, this whole, this whole text with a Malcolm X quote at the end brings me back to Malcolm X's quote. The most disrespected, unprotected, and neglected person in America is the black woman. So it's not a time to attack academics. We know why he didn't do it. Let's be real. We know why he didn't. We know why he's frustrated and didn't go at him because of cancel culture. Look at the rights most do have. When someone goes out their way, we seen it happen to the biggest. The only one that got away with it to a certain extent is Dave Chappelle somehow. We seen this. Academics be in his own house talking shit, flying off at the edge. That was confusion when he was sitting up there about to crack. Why throw it all away just off one response? And again, I'm not picking no side in this fight, but I'm looking at all aspects of this. And I'm pretty sure when most people of power and rank, like a Queen Latifah, go out to speak on things, they look at all sides, whether they care or not, or if they care about a rebuttal. They do that. 
they know the consequences. The two most important things that she put in this whole text was the respect for the gays or the LGBTQ community and black women, which have fair rights just like any other person, and they should, but is respected. But look at how y'all forcing that young man's hand. Look at the scales of it. If you got this far in the video, that's all I want to get across. Look at the scales of it. How can he choose? How can he win this battle right now? We know academics is trying to protect that bag. That's why he was sitting up there being teary-eyed because he know his so much can be on the line if he did say something. But at the same time, it was like a rock and a hard spot because if he don't say nothing, you can point out all the other things that he do talk about or the things that's, you know, not healthy either. Talking to black, black, talking about black women over and over and being disrespectful, and not, that's not healthy either. Although it happens on the internet all day, you got a whole manosphere full of mad men that talk about women all day. <laughs> from a wild perspective. What's the end game to this? This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. This story just broke where academics just broke down what yesterday, it's more to come. Now, if I was just to go on and title this video, Queen Latifah goes in on academics, and you watch this whole video and make it to this part, and there's a whole nother message in here that's making you think outside the box. Am I wrong? Just something to think about. Give it y'all in a minute. Rap talk.